Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday morning, February 6th. We are entering the, uh, or continuing with the first quarter of the year. So welcome to February, right? <laughs> So let's just dive right into it. What is this all about? Well, this is a personal development challenge sponsored by Wisdom and Insights. We are a career and personal development coaching practice. We are here to help career women, the career Christian women, elevate in all things career. We mainly work on branding, pathways, and transitions. So, and we also do corporate consulting. Can't forget that. We consult small businesses and corporations on bridging the gap between their employers and employees, opening the lines of communication and relationship. And I just want to give a shout out to my dear friend, Tamji Artistry. Like this lipstick? It is called Clutch, and it is from her line. You can see. Tamji Artistry. It's got an orange reddish tint to it. So I'm just loving Tamji and I just wanted to share. So Clutch by Tamji Artistry. Look for her on Facebook. But back to the item at hand. Today is day one of the personal development challenge. I am glad you're here. I'm glad you're up for the challenge. I am glad you decided to spend just a few moments with me every morning this week. We will go over one of the pillars and then I will give you a challenge or a task that you can work on and complete this week. So what is personal development? Personal development is taking into consideration really who you are who you truly are inside, right? Those are your morals and your values. Not the fake fake, not the, you know, this person you see on social media, but who you really are. And it's time that we just really take inventory on who we are authentically, all right? We are an original and that is to be proud of be proud that you are uniquely you because that is who god created you to be so being honest with yourself about areas of improvement that's your self-awareness your self-worth and even your self-esteem personal development helps you to increase your skill set and fulfill all your goals and your aspirations so who you are is who you are Personal development causes you to be intentional in committing on continuously improving in yourself. Self-growth, continue improving. That's personal development. It aligns with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I won't go into all of that because I'm sure you've had that already in school. So, but basically, we have a need for our, our basic needs to be fulfilled. And that's our self-awareness, our self-actualization. So think about that as we go through these pillars, right? So today I told you it was day one and today's pillar is physical, physical. So there's a whole lot packed in that, right? We're just not talking about, um, just how we feel or or like our physical where we are in this world like you know where you live your city your your country physical your appearance your health just overall just everything right so in first corinthians six nineteen, for this particular pillar we're going to talk about our physical bodies in first corinthians six nineteen, the word of god tells us know ye not that your body is the temple of, of the Holy Spirit. So since God has entrusted us with these temples, it is our responsibility to take care of them. And I'm talking to myself as well, right? So we've got to eat the right foods. We've got to drink plenty of water. We've got to get our bodies moving, exercise, movement. All of that is a part of our physical. 
A healthy body nourishes a healthy mind. There's a link between your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Physical, emotional, and mental well-being. And in that, I've already told you two other pillars, but that's for another day. This particular pillar, physical, focuses on what you eat or your nutrition, the amount of sleep that you get, drinking plenty of water. We take for granted that water just really cleanses our bodies. So we've got to get enough water in us so it can push out all uh, of the waste material that our body intakes. We have to exercise and move our body. That gets our juices flowing. It gets our muscles, ligaments, and, and that connective tissue to moving and stretching. And that helps with your digestive system and, and with pumping blood throughout your body to your heart. So we've got to move. Now, I love to walk. I love to walk outside, right? I'm not so much on a treadmill, but I like to be outside in nature. I like to hear the birds chirp. I wanna see the trees. I wanna smell the grass. That's what I just love. So all of that works together, right? That movement, the smell, it's clearing out my nostrils. It's alerting my senses of what's around me, right? So the benefits of that, is energy, increasing energy, mental sharpness. It will actually boost your self-confidence because we all know that when we look good, we feel good. When we feel good, we go out and conquer the world. Now, on the job, out in society, um, unfortunately, oftentimes you will be judged for the way you present yourself. So we have to be mindful of that. I'm not saying don't be who you are, but just be mindful. So clear skin and also healthy hair. Who doesn't want clear skin and healthy hair, right? So that is the pillar for today, physical. This is not gonna be long at all. So here is your challenge. Are you ready? You ready? Get you a pen, write this down. This is your challenge for the week. If you should choose to accept the assignment. Remember that from Mission Impossible? <laughs> so your challenge this week is to commit. Commit. I, Coach Liz, do commit to exercising at least 30 minutes per day this week. Exercising, it could look like this. Taking the stairs at work instead of the elevator. Parking at the back of the parking lot. So you have a little bit more of a walk to get into the building. At the grocery store park in the back. Walk, take you a brisk walk. Walk around the store or walk around the mall a few times. Get in that exercise, get your body to move in. So that's your challenge, to commit to 30 minutes per day of exercise, even if it's just walking, dancing, stretching, bicycling, you get it. Walk the stairs at your house, walk up and down the stairs throughout the day, make it 30 minutes, build up, build up. If you can't do 30 minutes, shoot for 15. But whatever you do, make sure you're moving Make sure you're getting that body warmed up. You're getting those juices flowing. You're connecting. You're doing the mind-body connection. And that you um, just keep going. Do a little bit every day till the end of the week. That's your challenge. That's your challenge. That's your challenge. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful, prosperous day that you dance that you get to moving, that you get to walking, that you think personal development and the physical part of that, right? And I'll see you tomorrow for the next pillar. I'm not gonna tell you what it is today. You'll have to tune in tomorrow. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.